This is the actual prototyping of the AM transmit. It is shown there the frequency using the multimeter and also the receiver which is the radio as well as the components that were in the protoboard or breadboard. This is the circuit used in the prototyping and also in the final testing. Understanding first the circuit is important. Feel free to pause the video to be familiar with the circuit. Before we start, let's introduce a proper credit to the owner of this circuit. So this circuit is based from the book of Rodolf F. Graf and William Schitz from the book Build Your Own Low Power Transmitters. So um, they have a lot of circuit and I've stumbled with this um, circuit. As you can see, this circuit is almost the same with the multi sim side relation. The only difference is this Q5 transistor. Um, we've tried 2 and 3904 but um, it does not work. However, when we replaced it with the transistor used in the simulation, which is the 2N3906, a PNP transistor, it works perfectly. So, as you can see, this is the audio signal, and this is the oscilloscope, and then a body plot, and then a frequency counter. The first stage, amplifier, it increases the gain of the audio signal that will be used in the modulator. 2N3904 in the amplifier and 2N3906 in the modulator. The configuration is critical, otherwise it will not work. Next is the Colpitz oscillator. This is a Colpitz oscillator design and it produces a 1.4 MHz which will be used as a carrier wave. Let's look at the comment. C7, C6, and L1 are the frequency determinator you will you need to adjust on this one for your chosen frequency and also good stability due to voltage regulator so because of lm7805 which provides a stable voltage in the transistor it will lessen the frequency drift having a stable voltage regulator that will go into the colpes oscillator the less it is prone to frequency drift, okay? which in results um, a good stable frequency. Next is the buffer. The purpose of buffer is first, it minimizes the loading effects. Second, it isolates oscillator from power amplifier. And three, provide modest increase in the power output. That's why buffer is important. And next is we use a class C amplifier. It has a theoretical efficiency of 78.5%. And lastly, the matching filtering network. So it will remove um, unwanted frequency that will be um, produced in the circuit. And also, it helps in the matching of the antenna and from the circuit. So checking the results from the simulation. So as you can see, this is the result of the simulation as you can see if you zoom in it has an AM modulation the amplitude is modulated the next is the frequency counter if your multimeter is capable of reading the frequency you can use it to determine the frequency that will be used in the radio and next is the body plot so to see if as you can see, if it's below the operating frequency, it has a lower gain, but around 1.5, something like that, it has a higher gain compared to the other. Okay, so um, again, this is the AM transmitter. The book advises that in design, um, make sure that um, 
the layout and the design is almost identical for optimum performance which will be which you will see in the later stage so this is the um, schematic design or the final cut of our circuit that will be used in the designing of the printed circuit board or PCB As you can see in this design again we use the same design that is discussed in the multi sim we use terminal block for the audio input terminal block for the potentiometer because we will be using it or placing it in our case and then terminal block terminal block and then again terminal block for lead indicator then terminal block for the lead out for the output that will be used to connect into the antenna so again it is um, advised to use um, the same layout into the board so checking the board this is the um, final um, design for the board you can see we have this um, design and again we use the same layout um, the same with the schematics so as you can see we have a bigger ground plane here which also um, add uh, or improve the quality of sound of the product The method that we're going to use in this video is using a pre-sensitized board to um, print the circuit and use this as our board for this project. So, after designing the circuit, you have to um, print it in the acetate film or in a transparent plastic that is printable. So after cutting those three figures, I overlapped it. So I used the three figures so that it would be uh, black, uh, much darker than just using one figure. And then I place it on the top of the presence dice board and I will expose it now the UV light. So I use um, ultraviolet black light. So as you can see, um, I'm going to expose it in seven minutes and then um, five inches distance from the bulb and then um, the watt the wattage of the bulb is 40 watts After the exposure to the UV light for 7 minutes, I used the developer solution for this um, part of this um, pre-sensitized bulb. So it's 2.5 tablespoon in 500ml of bulb. So I find this um, the most effective in um, dissolving those un unnecessary um, parts the green part then you just have to um, wiggle it vigorously very chloride then cut This is the final product. I use a shielded wire for audio input to reduce noise interference. And the metal casing to shield from noise may introduce in the system. I use a toggle switch and the connection of LED or AM transmitter indicate.
So um, this is the setup for AM and FM transmitter. So in this part, we're going to test the um, AM transmitter that shows um, LED color blue. Okay, so in this part, we're going to test if um, the transmitter will play. Okay, so um, the song that was used in this um, video is Give Me Faith by Elevation Worship. Okay, so now we're going to turn it off. So as you can see, the LED turns off. But the music is still playing. Okay, one more time. So the next part is we're going to change the song. So the next song was um, Sing by Kari Job, You Make Me Brave by Bethel Music. So now we're going to test if um, we try to pause it. Okay, so as you can see, it responded. So now we're going to um, test the um, range test. Okay, so um, in this part, we're going to test the capability of AM transmitter. Still, the same AM transmitter. And as you can see, the radio is set in the AM mode. So you can see the um, color red, LED, of the indicator of the radio. Okay, so now we have the uh, meter stick, and this one, and we're going to use it to uh, measure the range of this AM transmitter. Okay, so we begin by playing the song, Give Me Faith by Elevation Worship. Okay, so as you can see, um, from zero, it starts playing, and we can adjust the volume. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to um, measure the range test. So as you can see, we're more than 5 meters. So at this point, we are in the 10 meters and as you can see, the radio is still uh, playing loud and clear. Okay, so we begin by increasing the range again. So as you can see, we are on the um, 15 meters, and as you can see, um, still it is in the AM mode, and you can still um, hear the sound clearly and uh, intelligible. So as you can see, um, we're at this point. So as you can see, the transmitter is over there. And we are here. So 20 meters. We begin by increasing up until um, we got no sound. How many meters is that? 24. So as you can see, at 24, it's still visible and clear. So we're going back. As you can see, um, as you go back near to the transmitter, we got the reception again. So that's it for um, our AM transmitter.